the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have yet to build a strong reputation for creative output and philanthropic work, royal commentator Daniela Elser has claimed. Meghan and Harry signed several deals with major organizations, including streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, publisher Penguin Random House and California-based startups, since they relinquished their roles as senior royals. They have also launched their own non-profit foundation, one of the arms of the Archewell organization also comprising two production companies. While none of these organizations has opened up on the size of their partnership with the Sussexes, their total worth is believed to be over pound 150 million. In an opinion piece for the New Zealand Herald, Ems Elser wrote, there is the question of Harry and Meghan's careers. So far, they have not built much of a reputation for creative output. Despite signing an estimated $200 million plus in deals with Netflix, Spotify, and Penguin Random House, not to mention a billion-dollar Silicon Valley startup and a Wall Street investment firm, the only work they have turned out aside from the doco are her children's book and podcast series Archetypes. Nor have they quite managed to really cement themselves as leading philanthropic forces in their new homeland. As noted by M. Zelser, the Penguin Random House's partnership with the Sussexes has so far seen the release of Meghan's children's book The Bench and the upcoming memoir Spare by Harry. For Netflix, the Sussexes have released to date only their docuseries Harry and Meghan but they are known to be also working on Heart of Invictus. For Spotify, they have created a holiday special episode in December two years ago and the 12-episode Long Archetypes series. The Duke and Duchess, M. Zelser went on to claim, haven't yet been able to create the same groundbreaking effect on the issues they have targeted, as Princess Diana did in the 1980s and 1990s with AIDS, leprosy and the landmines. Nevertheless, the pair's philanthropic work and stance on social issues has been awarded by a number of organizations, including the NAACP and Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. Referring to the newly released Harry and Meghan, Ems Elser added, This series will only cement the fact that Harry and Meghan have built their post-palace public identity in opposition to the royal family and not for their own personal achievements or humanitarian work. Follow this live blog for updates on the royal family.